Christian, because you're a Christian, right? Christian? I believe in God. Okay, you believe in God. America says they're a Christian society, right? What is the God's law on slavery? His law. What does God say about it? I don't, I don't have any idea. Okay, I'm going to show you. Slavery's not good. Well, slavery's not good. Get Exodus 21 and verse 16. Bring it out! Bring it out! Exodus, I'm going to give it a law on slavery real quick. Come on. The book of Exodus, chapter 21 and verse 16. Bring it out! And he, and he that stealeth the man. And he that stealeth a man. And selleth him. And sells the man. Or if he be found in his hand. And if he, meaning who you stole, is found in your hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, all these people here. We're still found in your hand. He shall surely be put to death. He shall surely be put to death. Bring it out. God's law of slavery is death. This is why in Christian churches, they teach the descendants of blacks, don't read the Old Testament. Because somebody... Who decides to read it is going to read this. Read it again. And he that stealeth the man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. I'm not, Christian America doesn't teach that. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Jesus, wait, so this is what you're thinking of. You might say, Jesus changed that. But we already read in the Bible that Jesus look like this. Give me Revelation 13.10. Look at the Bible. Let's see if it changed. Let's see if Jesus changed the law of Moses. Revelation 13.10. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 10. Bring it out. He that leadeth into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity, meaning slavery, shall go into captivity. You shall right. go into captivity. That's he right. that killeth with the sword. He that killeth with the sword. Must be killed with the sword. Let's, let's see if that's a racist statement. Read. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. The Bible says Christ, because it's in red, that's Jesus speaking. He said, here is the patience and faith of the saints. That's right. So we have to do what? Patiently wait for justice. That's right. On the earth. We as a people have never gotten justice. I'm going to give you a year. From 1492, with the coming of the conquistadors, Bring it out. we cursed the fuck Columbus. Did the, the Mexicans or Puerto Ricans or Cubans get justice? No. Bring you killed out. them. You slaughtered them right. with the sword. So bad. I'm going to walk away. Don't walk it. Not you. Uh, come here. Come here. Stay. Stay. Stick around, bro. Oh, uh, see, when Jeffrey comes out, they got to go. Give me Proverbs 28 and 1. Bring it out. I scared your friend away. I'm sorry. <laughs> The Proverbs 28 verse 1. Let me show what the Bible says. Come on. The book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Bring it out. The wicked flee when no man pursue it. The Bring Bible it out. says right. the wicked flees when no man pursue it. That's so right. we're not pursuing it, brother. We just read the law on slavery. So they don't want to admit. This is why they, uh, Bernie Sanders, some of y'all like Bernie Sanders, some of y'all like Hillary Clinton, they asked both of those presidential candidates what do you feel about reparations for the slaves? They said, no, no, no. Let give them jobs. So then we stink back and scratch. They just gave reparations to the so-called Jewish men in Israel, seven billion dollars. They just gave reparations to the Japanese from World War II. Not only the Japanese, but their descendants. Right? Oh, yes. Google it. It's all on the news. But they said not for the descendants of the slaves. That's right. That's right. Why? Because they said. When you estimate it, you'd have to give every black man and woman about five billion dollars. He said that would bankrupt the country. So don't give them no reparations, give them jobs. Right. Right. Wave jobs, by the way. Right. Now somebody might ask, does the color pull out? Does color really matter? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Give me John 8:32. The truth always matters. John 8, 32. Yes. Come on. The book of John, Why chapter 8. Because somebody walked by saying, you guys are racist. We're not racist. We're going to tell you the truth, though. Right. Come on. Right. The book of John, chapter 8, and verse 32. Oh. Bring it out. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You shall know the right. truth, and the truth shall make you free. The reason we're still paying taxes, the reason we're still in captivity in America, is because we have not learned God's truth. Right. Right. We thought for centuries that this was Jesus. Right. Right. We prayed. Hey, we used to get beat by our mamas. 
to worship this. I know I got beat. That's you want right. to go to church point and worship that? Right. No. Then as we keep it mature and we find out, that's not in the Bible. Right. We challenge any Christian. Prove to us that this is Jesus in the Bible. Right. And we will obey. But it's not in the Bible. Yes. You know, this is in the Bible. This we didn't get Revelation 1 again. Revelation. So Christ said you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Come on. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ had white, woolly hair. See the right word? Woolly! You know the hair black women don't like? They want to burn out. But that's what all the sisters say. I don't want no... They say, I remember I tried to go home with a sister. She gonna look at me and go, I wanna go out with you. I said, why? She said, I want my baby to have good hair. I don't want hair like you. I said, you kidding me? You know what I'm talking about. All these yes. guys can bear witness to this. That's right. That's right. Read it again, read it again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus Christ had white woolly hair, come on. As white as snow. Right. Right. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes as a flame of fire, okay. So already he ain't got white woolly hair. Strike one. His eyes ain't like the flame of fire, but his is. Let's see why his eyes were red like that. Give me Genesis 49. What are we reading? The Holy Bible. That's right. Oh, right. This is about liberation. Right. This is about salvation. Right. 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 Come on. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. Moses was talking about the coming Messiah. He said his eyes shall be red with wine. His eyes ain't red with wine, but his surely is. Why? Because Christ drank wine in moderation. That's right. 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 Now let's get to what he looked like. Back to Revelation, please. Hallelujah. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Come on. And his feet. And his feet. He looked down. I can see the sister's feet right there. John looked down at Christ's feet. Let's see what the description is. Like unto fine grass. Grass is brown, like I got here. As if, as if they burn in a furnace. If you take this and burn it in a furnace, what color you think it'll get? Dark, real black. That's that's right. Right. Yes. So it describes Jesus Christ in the Bible. Right. So what we're saying is not racist. Right. It's biblical. That's right. 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 Some of you might be mad right now. I want to hear that crap. I want to hear about white Jesus. Love everybody. There's no such thing as white Jesus. You want to find him in the Bible. Read me uh, Daniel chapter 10. Five and six. But the prophet Daniel saw the vision of Jesus Christ. Let's see what the description is. The book of Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen uh -huh. whose loins were girded with the full, with the fine gold of Ephesus. Uh -huh. His body also was like the barrel. The word barrel means green. Christ had, the Messiah had on a green garment. Come on. And his face. And his face. As the appearance of lightning. It looked like lightning. Christ had power coming out of his face. Whoa. And his eyes. And his eyes. As lamps of fire. Do you remember why his eyes were like lamps of fire? Do you remember? You. We just read it in the Bible. Are you listening? Drink your water in moderation. Why? Very good. Read it. Read it. Read it. Listen good. It looks at Christ. He looks at the arms of Jesus now. And his feet. Read it again. And his arms. And his feet. Like in color. Like in color. To polish bread. To brass right. burn in the furnace. Right. So yes. he's describing this guy. Is this brass burned in fire, or is this brass burned in fire? We are asking you. Very good. So now, you have a choice, like all you have a choice. Are you going to continue worshiping the image of the beast, or do what the Bible says? Because a lot of you hear what's the truth of the Bible, but I reject that. Right. And you go back to Sunday school with lies and religion. Right. You grew up in where? Catholic church? Catholic? Okay, where are you from? Puerto Rico's? Columbia, where are you from? You, where are you from? Huh? What do you mean? Meaning your ancestry. Are you Spanish? Mexico, okay. So you should know some history about Mexico, right? Not so much. Well, I'm going to give you a little history of the Mexico. Give me an invitation. Your history is in the Bible. His history is in the Bible. All our history is in the Bible. The Bible mentions every race on earth. But the white man changed all your names, your identities. Right. So you read the Bible, I don't know who that's talking about. Lamentations 5 and 1. 
the book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Come up. Consider our consider and behold our reproach. Come up. Our inheritance is turned to strength. Our inheritance, your inheritance is your land. You understand that? Your inheritance is the land you own. Read it again. Remember, O Lord, what is come upon us. Mm -hmm. Consider and behold our reproach. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. And our houses have been given to aliens. Now, the white man took America, he took Mexico, and guess what? The Mexicans, if I'm not mistaken, you used to own parts of California, Nevada, Las Vegas. Am I right or wrong? Bring it out! Bring it out! What does the white man call you? An illegal what? Alien. The Bible calls the white man the illegal alien. Read that one. Hold on, what is that verse? Verse 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers. Our houses to aliens. Our houses have been given to aliens. The white man is the alien that came and took your house. Took my house. Took our houses. The Bible calls them aliens. But they say, no, you're the alien. And our people are so destroyed, I've heard black men call Mexicans illegal aliens. I'm like, brother, are you for real? You calling them illegal aliens? Where did you get that from? The white man on TV? Yeah, it sounded good to me. It ain't right, because they own this land, but they call you illegal. I bet your church never read that to you. We don't. Verse 3, we are orphans and fatherless. We are orphans and fatherless because what did they do? Hey. Give me the picture with the, the conquistadors. Is it under here? No, sir. Oh, y'all don't have it down here? No, sir. Montezuma, you ever heard of Montezuma? When the conquistadors led by Ponce de Leon, Hernan Cortez, they burned your caciques alive. Bring it on. The only reason you were not burned alive is if you accepted this. They said, accept the white Jesus, we won't kill you. This is why you're all Catholic today. Bring it on. Take your history. Learn how you became Roman Catholic. Read on. Our mothers are as widows. Our mothers are as widows because they killed our fathers. We have drunken our water for money. We have drunken our water for money. You own the land, you own the country, Mexico, but you gotta pay for water. Water's supposed to be free right around. But read it again in verse. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are as widows. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our wood. You own it. You live in the country. Your the wood that you one time owned is now sold to you for money. The water which was free is now sold to you. How did they do it? How did they do it? You see this concrete here? All throughout America, you had rivers of running water. They said, how can we monopolize this thing here? Let's build concrete streets and block the water supplies off from the natives, off from the slaves. That way they have to come to us to get water. Bring it out! How they manipulate everything. We think, oh, this is good. Look at this great city. No, it was done for a purpose, for a reason. So they can monopolize resources. You understand that? Bring it out! Bring it Where you at? Now, give me Matthew 24. I'm going back to Jesus Christ. You might ask, what does it matter? This is what Jesus said in Matthew 24, 5. Chapter 24 and verse 5. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ. Yes. And shall deceive many. Have you been deceived? Yes, we've all been deceived. We all believe this was Jesus. Yes. When the conquistadors came, they taught us this crap right here. Right. And enslaved us. Bring it out. What are we reading? The Bible. Read it again. For many shall come in my name. Saying, I am Christ. So the many that came in his name, saying he is Christ, is the white man. The many that came in the Lord's name, saying he is Christ, is the white man. Is that a racist statement? No, it's a truth, biblical statement. We know history, we know the Bible first and foremost. Read it again. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ and shall deceive many. And shall deceive many. So yeah. us, our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, our brothers, right. we've all been deceived. Right. So what time is it? It's time to wake up. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta right. find out that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. Right. We're not Mexicans, we're right. not Cubans, right. we're not Puerto Ricans. Right. Where's the 12 tribe sign? Somebody help me. Hold it up. 
Our names are in the Bible. Right. But when the white man conquered us, he changed our identities. That's right. That's, give me that Deuteronomy 28, 37. Stand by. Deuteronomy 28. I'm going to show you what the white man did when he conquered us. How he changed all the names of the races. Deuteronomy 28, 37. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 37. Bring it and thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword. Now Moses is speaking to the 12 tribes of Israel. He said, if you break God's laws, one of the curses that shall come upon you. What did it say? And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall lead thee. A proverb and a byword is being called something God did not intend for you to be called. All of these names, American blacks, West Indian black, Haitians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, Dominicans, Guatemalans, Panamanians, American Indians, Seminole Indians, Colombians, the Uruguayans, Mexicans, Argentinian, Chileans, these are labels the white man put on us when we enslaved. He changed your identities in slavery. Your churches ain't gonna teach you that. Your school systems are forbidden to teach you that. Right. Now jump down to verse 48. Bring it up. So you know, I'm going to show the brother now. We call ourselves American blacks, right? Watch this. Verse 48. Therefore. Hey, hey, somebody get this for me right here. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Therefore shall you serve your enemies. Which the Lord shall send against you. Which the Lord shall send against you. In hunger. Uh -huh. And in thirst. Uh -huh. And in nakedness. Read. And in want of all things. Here it comes. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he, your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck. This is not a cartoon drawing. Is this fact or fiction, brother? Is this a fact? What are we reading? The Bible. The Bible says if you break God's laws, your enemies would put yokes of iron on your neck. Right. So wait a minute. He's talk God is talking to the Israelites. He's not talking to a group of people called African Americans. He's talking to the Israelites. He said if you break my laws, your enemies would put yokes of iron on your neck. How did our full parents get to the Americas? Did we take a plane over here? How? How we got here? Ships. Ships. Verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. The word Egypt, by the way, means slavery. That's what Egypt means. Come on. Egypt again with ships. And the Lord, read it all again. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. Here it comes. And there. And there once you get off the slave ship, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. When we got off the slave ship, brother, right or wrong, fact or fiction, were we sold on auction slave blocks? What are we reading? The Holy Bible. Right? You've never read the Bible. You've never learned the Bible. Lord. Read it again. And, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Read. thou shalt see it no more again. You will not see your homeland no more again. And there, and there, once you get off the ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Uh -huh. For bond men, bond men means slave men, and bond women meaning slave women. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you means great black leaders rose up to try to save us, right? Malcolm X. Martin Luther King, you even got Louis Farrakhan, Marcus Garvey, they all failed. Right. There's only one savior, brother. Only one. And it ain't Martin Luther King Jr. Here we look, Luke chapter 1. So now, according to the Bible, we went into slavery on ships, right? According to the Bible, we had yokes of iron on our necks, right? According to the Bible, we would be sold to our... What's the word he used? Nope. What was the word he used? Enemies. Enemies, enemies. I know it's not, sometimes it's hard for brothers. Why? Because we love that white woman. You better stop it. Boy, the Bible know, calls man. them your enemies. Hey, Watch this. Luke chapter 1. Verse 7. Some people looked at me. Oh, he's racist. No, I'm not racist. I'm, I'm a Bible truth man. Watch That's this. Right. Luke 171. Of Luke chapter 1 and verse 71. That we should be saved from our enemies. And from the hand of all that hate us. That we should be saved from who? Our enemies. Uh -huh. And from the hand of all that hate us. We're reading the New Testament, by the way. That we should be saved from our enemies. These people here that burned us alive. And let me tell you, brother, something. Some of y'all think, not you particularly, but I, I'll use myself. Before I learned this truth, I thought 
the white woman was not involved in any of the atrocities, how wrong I was. She was holding her man, congratulating him. Good job, dear, good job. Burn the nigga, burn the nigga. This is what they did to us. And if you look in the picture, there's women in the background, okay? When you look at these images, they have women in there. And these women cheered for their white man to destroy us. So when the Bible says your enemy shall put you in slavery, it don't just mean the man. Bring it out. I'm talking about the woman too. She was hand in hand. So I, now that might seem a hard thing. You like white women? Tell the truth. Yeah. That's okay if you say that. I know it is. No. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to show you guys law what it says about no, no, interracial marriage. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Thank you. When those brothers come in, I know a lot of brothers look to Mexicans. They look for a lighter complexion woman to get with, so that way their children will be lighter and lighter and lighter. And black sisters do the same thing. I'm like, oh, he's too dark, he's too black. I need a light-skinned brother. I used to hear that go to bed, you need a light-skinned brother. So, give me that, watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 3. What are we reading? Interracial marriage. What does God say? Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Uh -huh. Thy son thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter no. shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you and, and destroy thee suddenly. So God says, don't give your sons to their daughters. Don't give your daughters to their sons. That's God's law into racial marriage. Yes. Wow, yeah. I don't know how I can know more.